Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Salma Ganem, Provost for DePaul University, and it is really my pleasure to welcome you to the Jarvis Campus Celebration. Thank you for taking the time today to joining us in person and via live stream. And I want to extend a warm welcome to the Jarvis and Gerritsen family members and friends. I'm so happy you could be here with us today. St. Vincent de Paul often spoke about virtues, integrity, honesty, morality, the characteristics that make you a good and decent person. He focused on cultivating those values, instilling them in others, and putting them into action. But one of my favorite virtues is gratitude, acknowledging the many of the gifts and opportunities in our lives that have come to us through the generosity of others. And actually, when you express gratitude, it's been shown to have positive physiological effects. It's true, regularly practicing gratitude can improve your physical health, your self-esteem, your mental health, and yes, for all of us, sleep. And it does help with sleep. All of that just for thanking others on a regular basis. Sounds pretty good to me. So, well, gratitude is exactly why we're here today. Eugene Jarvis and Sasha Gerritsen. Thank you for everything you have done for DePaul University. Your landmark gift, the largest in the university history, will accelerate student learning and career development. It will support an endowed scholarship and research with the Ruff Institute of Global Homelessness. The Jarvis Student Center for Innovation and Collaboration, located right here in the DePaul Center, will serve as a hub of interdisciplinary activity for our students and for our faculty. It will strengthen the academic to industry pipeline and connect our students directly with industry professionals. In short, the gift will create incredible opportunities for our students that will change their lives. At DePaul, we're always asking ourselves, how can we open the door just a bit wider to better serve others? Eugene and Sasha, you're opening the door for our students. And in recognition of your generosity and leadership, we are honored to rename the College of Computing and Digital Media as the Eugene P. Jarvis College of Computing and Digital Media. Please join me. Thank you very much. And now I would like to welcome Father Mark Pronitis, who will deliver the invocation. Father Mark. From oh, so long ago, loving God, back when there was this uh, garden, you gave us the honor of naming your creation. And so we got aardvarks and asparagus and apricots and crocodiles and daffodils and dolphins and kangaroos and ostriches, oaks and peaches and plums and tigers and whales and zebras. And the oh so many, many, many more pieces and parts of your creation. And we learned then and we continue to learn now that from naming, when at our best, we deepen our awareness of the radical connectedness of your creation and grow in our relationship to it and to each other. 
From then until now, you have continued the work of creating the world you have given us, and we continue to name things, to put together pieces, weaving together through learning and skill and knowledge and imagination and insight, growing in wisdom through it all. As we open ourselves to the wonders of this world you have given us, we have grown in our capacity to shape new worlds, some of them we call virtual. And what we continue to learn is that you are in those worlds too. Today you have brought us to a moment of great joy as we celebrate one of your better creative moments, that is when Eugene P. Jarvis entered the story and became one of those people who has taken the gifts and talents and skills and the ability to wonder, and with all that, has created worlds in which we can play and learn and grow. Thank you for helping him to do all of that and for making him and his wife, Sasha, so very, very generous too. Yes, what we celebrate today is an outpouring of gifts that will lead so many, many more gifts, lead to so many, many more gifts being shared as teachers and learners in the Eugene P. Jarvis College of Computing and Digital Media collaborate con to continue the project of your creation. May we grow in unity, wisdom, and love through the joyful work of all those who are part of this college. May their labors lead us to peace and fuller human flourishing. For all the gifts that brought us to this moment, we say thank you, loving God. May St. Vincent de Paul guide us as we open ourselves to your vision of how it is we are to live until the day we are fully united with you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. It is my honor to introduce to you the president of DePaul University, Dr. Gabriel Esteban. Thank you, Father Pranaitis, for your kind words and beautiful invocation. As is typical with me, I'll go off script at the beginning and tell you a Eugene and Sasha story. Uh, we first got, Joe and I first got to know uh, Eugene and Sasha really during the board retreat uh, in, uh, where we spent some time in Southern Italy. And I see a number of those who are on the trip with us. And I still remember, Joe and I were just talking about this. We remember sitting down over dinner and it was just the four of us left around the table and everyone had started to go out uh, and uh, so, I, but we started to chat. And now I can admit, Sasha, I've always been terrified of you. <laughs> okay, and I'll tell you a little bit something about Sasha. I didn't know what to make of a world-class opera singer was also a national seven, is it six degree black belt in Taekwondo? <laughs> and I was a measly uh, testing for my black belt in Taekwondo. I thought, huh, thank you for the tip, Father Dennis. <laughs> okay. But more importantly, we got to talk uh, with Eugene. Right. And I remember our discussion, uh, we shared a common uh, love for technology as well as video games. We are just here, so I apologize for the delay. Uh, I spent many a time in Akihabara in Tokyo where they test video games. So as we were chatting over video games, and I was a programmer in my previous life, I remember commenting to Eugene, I said, you know the problem with some of the old video games is you look for patterns. And as you look at patterns, you detect the patterns and it becomes easy to solve, right? And I said, I wish someone would put in a random number generator in these video games as a math computer science major. So. And Eugene looked at me, he said, Gabe, Robotron has it, okay? Uh, which is the game that Eugene developed and it had a random number generator. It also was the first to really intensively use uh, two joysticks 
So I remember that discussion because we went on and on talking about these things. And we, when we got to visit them uh, and have dinner at their place, we got to tour the basement. Again, more video games. So it was like a gamer's delight. And because of you, Sasha, you and I have gained five pounds. Uh, because at least once a week, I think, we go back to the Armenian place you introduced us to. <laughs> so that's Sasha and Eugene. But we also talked about DePaul and how DePaul made a big difference in the lives of students. And it really impressed us that you, Eugene, would take your time to be a gamer in residence here. You took time to spend time with our students, despite your busy schedule. So today is a very special day, and I'd say a very historic day for DePaul. Thanks to your incredible generosity, DePaul will continue to empower generations of leaders and innovators. In March, we announced this landmark gift, the largest in our history. And today we are here to simply say thank you. In the words of St. Vincent de Paul, no words can express my gratitude for the many benefits and favors we constantly receive. The Eugene P. Jarvis College of Computing and Digital Media will help build a bright future for our collective society as it continues to innovate, create, and advance technology. This transformative gift strengthens our commitment to our Catholic Vincentian urban mission by also creating endowed scholarship and a research collaboration with the George and Tanya Ruff Institute of Global Homelessness. In addition, the Jarvis Student Center, and if you don't mind, I've been taking people on tours already, will provide students with hands-on learning experience, giving them an edge in the job market. On behalf of DePaul University, again, I want to thank Eugene and Sasha for this incredible act of generosity. We are humbled and blessed by your kindness and dedication to DePaul. Now, please join me in welcoming David Miller, Dean of the Eugene P. Jarvis College of Computing and Digital Media. It's always good, I think, in a place like DePaul to take a moment to reflect on roots. Um, I would say the root of what is here today in the form of CDM uh, really started in truth back around 1971 in the math department when they offered their very first course in Fortran. And I'm assuming that was on punch cards at the time. Um, I remember those days. I wasn't here yet, but I was Fortran on punch cards, I remember well. Um, that expanded fairly quickly to become a Bachelor of Science degree in computer science in 1976, 77, if I have my dates right, and a master's degree followed this, started the following year. Um, you can call all that sort of chapter, the prologue really to chapter one, and that I would start chapter one with the creation of the Department of Computer Science and Information Systems in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences in 1981. Helmut Epp led the initiative to create the department and his vision and drive guided the department and the subsequent school through its first 24 years. And Helmut is here with us today. <laughs> Two degree programs became eight, eight full-time faculty became 28. Students came in droves in response. And we could might mark perhaps chapter two when DePaul elevated our department to become the School of Computer Science, Telecommunications and Information Systems, also known as, repeat with me, okay. un unrehearsed, um, in 1995. Significant growth, it was good timing. Dot com boom, telecom boom, all that stuff was starting to happen just after that. It was a good time to be sort of in control, a little more in control of your own fate. 
And we took advantage of that with yet more programs, yet more faculty, yet more students coming in. Um, you might remember what followed the dot-com boom. Uh, was, wasn't quite so happy, uh, dot-com bust. A little bit outsourcing, uh, other factors in the early aughts, you might remember. And that's when CTI made a move into developing its media portfolio, starting first with film and then moving into related areas such as game development, animation, and others. Acknowledgement of this added focus came with CTI becoming the College of Computing and Digital Media, CDM, in 2008. That same year, some fellow named Eugene Jarvis was named our first game designer in residence, providing guidance about the gaming program and working side by side with student game developers. And I, I noted when we were looking around for Eugene, ready to get started here, he was of course over talking to the students because I think that's where he likes to be. Now organized into three schools, computing, cinematic arts, and design, CDM has accomplished great things. For decades, it has been the engine creating the professionals, driving computing technology in the Chicago area. It has been the first to market in the Midwest with many programs such as human, human computer interaction and data science. It has created programs with national rankings in areas such as game design, film, animation, and graphic design. We truly have much to be proud of. During my 41 years at DePaul, I've had the honor of witnessing multiple significant moments. However, today marks a truly historic moment in my tenure here, and certainly for the College of Computing and Digital Media, the beginning of the next chapter of this tale. This transformative gift from Eugene and Sasha opens up limitless possibilities for the students, faculty, and staff of CDM. The immeasurable impact that Eugene has and will continue to make because of this investment in CDM, our students, the university, and the community cannot be overstated. I'll reiterate the parts that are coming from this, including, and please make the tour, the Jarvis Student Center for Innovation and Collaboration, which will connect students with industry professionals, creators, experts, and residents, strengthening the academia the industry pipeline. That's just the starting notes for what that center is going to be doing. I think it is a story that is yet to be written as to what's going to be accomplished out of that space. The Eugene B. Jarvis CDM Scholars Program will provide vital financial assistance to talented, talented students of all backgrounds. And the new collaboration between DePaul's Ruff Institute of Homeless, Global Homelessness and CDM will offer students a hand-on experience in understanding and combating homelessness through a myriad of specializations, including data analytics, statistical modeling, and user experience design. The true strength of a university is found in the partners and friends who choose to support the mission and values that shape our institution. Thank you, Eugene and Sasha, for your generosity, partnership, and support of our students' aspirations. Thank you for believing in the people and programs of this university. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to invite Eugene P. Jarvis to the stage. Thank you, Dr. Esteban, Salma, Father Mark, Dean Miller, <laughs> and thank you faculty, students, friends, and family from near and far gathered to celebrate this wonderful moment for DePaul. The renaming of the College of Computing and Digital Media is an incredible honor. And Sasha and I are thrilled to be here today at the opening of this beautiful new Student Innovation and Collaboration Center.
since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with pinball and video games. Yeah, where's the arcade here anyway? Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I dreamed in my sleep of beating my big sister at Pong. It never happened. Um, and after playing Space Wars and then Space Invaders, I wanted to make my own video games like so many kids today. So for the last 40 odd years, I've dedicated my life to developing new arcade video games. In the early days of video game design, we were mostly self-taught hackers, dropouts, and dreamers, and maybe more dream than skill. But somehow, we got we did the new the, we did we designed games. I remember drawing character animations, not not with Adobe Photoshop or 3D Max or Maya or whatever the hell else they use today, um, but colored pencils and graph paper. And for my early games, Defender and Robotron, and I thought they were pretty cool, really. I mean, uh, I guess it was good enough to do the job. Fast forward to 2022, and video games have evolved from 8-bit pixels to photorealistic, interactive, cinematic art engaging billions of players around the world. From 2D to 3D to virtual reality. <laughs> We've gone from game arcades to arcades in every pocket. Right here. Got my own arcade right here now. And uh, I'm not getting much work done today. Okay. Um, <laughs> And now we have the burgeoning trend of gamification, which the hell is this? Um, right, right, which attempts to turn all of life into a video game. God help us. <laughs> the same video games which were despised as the number one corrupter of, of youth are now. To my surprise, and a legitimate subject of academic study. <laughs> God save us. Um, okay. Where the hell were I here? Um, okay. As video game complexity has increased dramatically, the computing, digital art, and design skills required are even more intense. I truly believe that education is the key to empower today's young emerging creators. The College of Computing and Digital Media, as many of you know, is close to my heart. Back in the early 2000s, when my good friend and DePaul teacher, Joe Lenhoff, told me that DePaul was starting a video game design program, it was like a dream come true, and I wanted in. Dean Miller invited me to become the first game designer in residence to help jumpstart the interdisciplinary game design program. It was a mouthful, but I haven't looked back since. I love team teaching game design seminars and advising and judging students in capstone projects. I'm continually amazed and inspired by the creativity, talent, and passion of the faculty and students at DePaul. And let's give a hand for the faculty and students right there. At late night weekend game jams, I saw DePaul students' eagerness for invention and working together, working together, reminding me why I fell in love with video game creation. The small team collaborative nature of game design, the challenge of bringing multi-talented teams together in a common cause 
to turn a blank video screen into a living, living breathing universe of gaming fun. Pretty tough. Of course, what sounds great on paper soon crashes and burns in reality giving students the opportunity to learn even greater lessons like persistence and improvement. The value of humbleness, open-mindedness and acceptance of constructed criticism because those that know it all learn nothing. The spirit of creativity, joy and camaraderie at CDMs is contagious and so much so CDM has grown in the last few decades from just a, a few hundreds to over 5,000 students across computing, design, and interactive arts, with a clear focus in providing relevant professional skills in demand today. Today, I'm proud not only to partner, but invest in a university that serves so many, providing access to a transformative education for students of all backgrounds, many of whom are the first in their families to attend college. Inclusivity is a unique strength of DePaul and lets us draw on a wealth of perspectives. Through the creation of this Student Innovation and Collaboration Center, an expanded scholarship program, and a new partnership between CDM and DePaul's Ruff Institute of Global Homelessness, it is my hope that we will be able to help the College of Computer Cuning and Digital Media take its interdisciplinary approach to expand access and opportunity to a new generation of creators who dream of expressing their own creative voice, just like I once did. The DePaul community, this college, and its remarkable faculty, staff, and students are like family to Sasha and me. Thank you, and I cannot wait to see what we can accomplish together in the years ahead. Oh.